Hi, I'm Grill Bears, and I'm here in the middle of a raging Appalachian River. The plane I was on crashed, but we managed to find these inflatable life rafts. So now we're paddling down to see if we can find civilization. The dangerous trip, though. And now it takes all my strength just to keep going in the right direction. One thing you have to watch out for on a rafting expedition is these large beaver dams. If you get too close, the beavers can come out and attack you. They can actually be very ferocious. You would think with this placid scenery that you'd be safe from animals, but there's actually lots of predators out here. I found something that looks like it may be a human construction, but I don't know, it looks kind of ancient. There's a sign here, but it's covered in cryptic markings that I can't quite understand. I think we better just leave this alone. If you waste your time with things that seem like a great hope, they can dash your wishes on the rocks of despair. We just want to keep going. Maybe we can find some civilization down there. Hear that deafening roar? That sounds like white water. The water's getting very choppy, so we're in for a bumpy ride. Hold on to your heart! At this point, it's imperative that we find food. These hours of paddling have really taken it out of me. So I'll have to test the water. Oh, it's very, it's very, just frigid. Don't know if I can get in. I think I would freeze solid if I was completely immersed. But. Oh, got a life preserver. I'm sure I remembered to put that on because it's a, a very good tool to have for survival. Gotta get out of this water. Obviously not the safest idea. Who knows what could be swimming around in these murky depths. Let's just keep moving forward. Oh, thank you. Paddles are very useful tools as well. We're moving down the river quickly. Cannot underestimate the importance of a good tool. It's too bad this raft isn't made of aluminium. It could cut through the water much faster than we are now. But we have to be very thankful of what we have. It's getting pretty bad. Looks like lethargy is starting to set in with some of my fellow castaways. It's one of the worst things. Just get completely apathetic and start sleeping. And then you die. Horrible, painful death. My hand's shaking already. It's happening to me. Here's a rare specimen of dragonfly. It's highly poisonous, but if you can just grab it by... Oh, never mind. That would have been a good source of food but they're very elusive and hard to catch. So cold out here, I'm getting goose flesh. Temperatures can get below zero degrees Celsius, especially at night, so we've got to find shelter soon. It's getting late in the day. The mountains of North Carolina are a brutal place. The death toll is so horrific that we've had to resort to towing our dead bodies behind the rafts. Don't know how much longer we can go on with this. Shh. We've come across a herd of wild water buffalo. This could make a great meal, even if it's not cooked. So I'm going to try and use my paddle and throw it at them. The sharp end should spear them to death instantly. Be quiet. Don't want to disturb the target. <laughs> All right, taking the shot. Oh. Oh. I guess that's not going to work. Got to get my paddle back. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta learn from your failures. Oh, should have practiced javelin throwing more in high school. This vast expanse of river. 
Reminds me of my time in the Amazon. CSAS. I once spent two years there. I lived off nothing but tree frogs and my own piss. It was a fun time. We've managed to find this nice canopy of trees to shade us from the blistering sun. Just have to make sure that these branches don't slice my head clean off. What I wouldn't give for a Twizzler and a Stout Lager right now. It's hard work being a man. Look at these ominous mountains. Looks like there's more trouble ahead. Wait, no. The river's flowing the other way. We're turning around. What's going on? Is it a whirlpool? Oh, what's this? Looks like a takeout point. If we're very resourceful, we might be able to use this to our advantage. See if we can get out of this water. Yeah, that would be a good idea. I've come across two unsuspecting tourists. Ma'am, do you know what you have in your boat there? Those are two freshwater gully woggles. They're some of the fiercest creatures in the wild. You have to be very careful handling these beasts. They're intelligent, but ferocious. Ah, oh, I'm scared already and I'm 10 feet away. He's trying to lure me in with small talk. What? No, no, I don't want to hear what you're saying. You can't fool me with your babyish cuteness. Just because I couldn't kill you doesn't mean you're better than me. Everybody has a water buffalo. We're stuck. We're stuck. Stop, 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 stop. What do you think you're doing? Everyone does not have water buffalo. We're going to get nasty that is saying, where's my water buffalo? Why don't I have a water buffalo? And aren't you prepared to deal with that? I don't think so. So stop being so silly. Yeah, looks good. Oh, you want me to say something? Oh, can't think of anything right now.